going. Today we're going to be working on this uh, 2012 Chrysler SRT8 and uh, we're going to be testing the evaporative emission system on this 6.4 liter big old boy. Alright so real quick while we're up here in the engine bay uh, this is the location of the purge valve solenoid up here. As you can see it's got its two lines and this is a two wire style. Uh, this is regulated by the PCM uh, when it's under the right circumstances to go ahead and purge the EVAP canister and uh, send the remaining hydrocarbons back into the engine to be burned off. All right, so for Chrysler vehicles, they go about it differently compared to other vehicles. They use something called an ESIM, which this works on when the vehicle has been shut off for about 12 minutes after running at normal operating temperature. Uh, it measures for vacuum, a very small amount of vacuum. Uh, with this, after 12 minutes, if it's not sensing vacuum, that means that there's either a small or large leak. So it either trips a large leak test right after that, and if the large leak test comes back negative, then it determines that there's a small leak if it is not, if it is not sense a vacuum. So right now we're looking at the uh, charcoal canister and the ESIM system that's attached to it. So uh, I've got my light on it right now. Joe, if you can get in there. I can see. You got a good shot? Mm -hmm. All right, so right here, this is the charcoal canister. And uh, at the end over here with the wire plugged into it, this is your uh, ESIM system. So uh, this has the little tiny weights in it that uh, does the little test after uh, the car has been shut off. Uh, this is right here, this is its uh, fresh air um, intake. Uh, it's got a filter in here. So when it uh, lets all the uh, atmospheric pressure in, uh, it goes through this to let in uh, fresh air. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got our other tubes over here, our regular just EVAP tubes uh, going from the uh, purge solenoid up front. That's the one on the left. And then the one on the right hand side of the uh, charcoal canister goes to the fuel tank. Uh, so we're doing this EVAP test. I got into our little Solaris Edge and uh, it just completed it. So I'm actually doing a, a, a rerun. Um, so we've got this, so large leak test. Uh, it says it passed that one. And then the other one, I believe Still large leak test, it says it was in progress. All right, and here we have uh, the ESIM switch. Uh, apparently it's open right now. I think if I went to, uh, yeah, that one's still open. Purge duty cycle was at 0%. Purge airflow, zero. And back up to the, tr or actually that's, uh, yeah, large leak. Back down to the bottom. Okay, there we go. So we're doing a uh, purge vapor test right now. As you can see, we've got the uh, RPM, got the purge flow. All right, as you can see, between uh, zero and 0 0.05, that's what we're measuring for, for voltage wise. Uh, so as you can see, it's kind of opening and closing. Let's see, purge duty cycle right here. Uh, this is the percentage of on time. As you can see, it's turning on and off. Purge mode seems to be in learn. Uh, purge vapor, uh, purge vapor ratio uh, seems to be on the high side right now. Uh, it's supposed to be between 0.41 and 0.44. Just dropped. Oh, oh, okay. So I can change it. So right now I have it on flow. I can. The edge I don't know what's happening. Block. Oh, that's why it didn't like that. Okay. So we're going to turn on normal. So when you have it on normal, it runs really fine. Actually, let's go up to RPM. So we're idling about uh, 600. Let's, let's flow this. Oh, yeah. We're down to 500. Oh, yeah. She's running rough. Got that chop now. All right, and then if you block it, idle goes back up and put on normal. And that's because we're not 
at any kind of cruising speed or just sitting here idling so it doesn't like all those extra hydrocarbons being shot into there so it's going to be running a lot richer than it was before um, so it doesn't really know how to idle with that via the air fuel mixture um, because I'm commanding it I'm not letting the, I'm not letting the ECM command it which would um, kind of turn up or down the uh, fuel trim on the uh, injectors so since I'm doing it with this device, I'm telling it I want you to do this. So we can confirm that the purge valve on this vehicle is operating correctly. 